Hi, we're here to talk about the Mass Effect 3 Omega DLC and you're watching Connected Digital World. So, do you want to introduce yourself? So, my name is Fabrice Colavinas and I'm the producer for the Mass Effect 3 Omega DLC. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about this new DLC? Yes, of course. So, Omega is the biggest DLC we ever made for the franchise. It's a four hours long gameplay, four hours of gameplay on the DLC. And uh, it's really about how far as a player are you willing to go to help Arya retake Omega. Um, you know, at what cost, what cost are you ready to pay to, to achieve that goal? Most of the people that have played Mass Effect 2 or even Mass Effect 3 knows that Arya is a very special character, not exactly the Paragon type. So for sure, making a deal with her has some consequences. And uh, so that's one aspect of the DLC. The other aspect of the DLC is really about Omega the station history and Arya's personal background also. And uh, to help us with that, we're introducing a new character, which is the first female Turian of the trilogy called Nereen, and that has a very strong relationship with uh, Arya. And in addition to that, we have uh, two new weapons, we have new powers, um, we have new, uh, two new enemies, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, how has the reaction been to the, the new DLC? Nobody has played it yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in terms of, obviously, the, you've announced it. Yes. Um, extremely strong and passionate. Um, I think Omega is something that people wanted to see. And, uh, and there have been talks since the end of Mass Effect 3 about what's coming, because as you know, you meet Arya in the purgatory during Mass Effect 3, and she's pretty much pissed off because uh, she just lost her station. So a lot of people were expecting that, and uh, so far the, the reaction has been extremely positive because it's, Arya is also, as I said, a very special and iconic character, and people wanted to know more about her. So, and this is also why the DLC is so long. Uh, with with a character as strong as Arya, you need a complex story behind to, to explain the story. It's so it's uh, 15 euros or 1200 Microsoft. Um, thank you very much. Well, thanks to you. So how long has this DLC been in development? Uh, we started to work on it right after the Mass Effect 3 was done. Okay. Uh, it's, it's also, so this is a tough question because, as I said, it's a very long and complex DLC, so we start thinking about it way ago, actually, since the end of Mass Effect 2, due to the, the, the huge amount of feedback we have from fans around Omega, the station and Arya the character. So there was a thought process that was very long ago, but the actual development started after Mass Effect 3. Um, are there any plans for additional DLC? Well, of course we want to support the, the franchise, but I can give you numbers if that's <laughs> what, you're, what you're looking for, but we will, we will continue to expand on the, on the, on the franchise. And when will it be available? It will be available on November 27th for Xbox and PC and 28th for PS3.